I hope everybody is fine and uh, safe. Uh, many people have asked me to make videos on B1 in English. I have already made some in Urdu and uh, explained them in English sometimes, Urdu most of the times. But uh, now I'm going to make some series of videos, all of those videos um, in the topic um, phase and in the conversation phase that I have already made in, uh, in Urdu. So I'm going to make all of them in English now. So people who don't understand Urdu, um, this would be definitely helpful for them. But if you still have questions, you can ask me. <clears throat> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, uh, present some important questions um, for B1 Jesse grade 5 speaking and listening exam, uh, which is obviously, um, as you know, required for uh, indefinite leave to remain application and British uh, citizenship application. So this test and life in the UK, these are two uh, must uh, tests. So in this video, um, we will be talking about uh, one of the topics uh, in the conversation phase. So let us see which is our topic this time. So as you can see, uh, as you can see that uh, there are six topics for conversation phase. Um, let me make it clear here that I have already made videos in both Urdu and English about um, the structure of the test. So if you haven't watched them, please go and check those videos uh, to understand how the test is structured. Uh, but I would definitely tell you here briefly that the test is structured in two parts. I mean, it is one continuous test, but there is five minutes of personal topic um, phase and five minutes of conversation phase. In conversation phase, you have six topics which are listed here. You can see that. Uh, so these are the six topics for conversation phase. So what we will do is we will take them one by one and you will have separate videos on all of them and we will discuss important uh, questions but i was um, i'm going back to my point that there are six topics in conversation phase and there is one topic that you have to choose you have to prepare before the exam and you have to take it with you uh, on the day of the test but once again these things would look strange to you if you haven't watched my other video about uh, an introduction to uh, the topic phase and conversation phase. So watch that first. You understand the structure and then this would not be a problem for you. So in the conversation phase, our first topic is festivals today. So I'll be showing you some important questions and how to answer them. OK, so let's move on. <laughs> So this is just a picture to uh, to remind you what types of different festivals are celebrated in this country and probably in your own country of origin. Um, so it could be about any festival. There's nothing um, specific that they would talk about only religious festivals um, or they would talk about only about non-religious festivals. So festival is a festival, whether it's religious or non-religious. So these are some of the important festivals that are celebrated here. For example, Eid for Muslims and then Christmas for Christians, Diwali for Hindus and Sikhs. And um, Halloween is a non-religious festival, obviously. Happy New Year. I mean, it's not Happy New Year festival. It's a New Year festival, obviously. But um, that is also has nothing to do with religion. <clears throat> so let us see what questions we have. Now, these are some of the questions based on my personal experience as an examiner and based on what my students have experienced and based on uh, the knowledge that is provided by the Trinity College on their website. So the first question, let's say, is what are some of the most popular festivals or celebrations in your country? 
Um, so the examiner will choose two topics from this conversation phase and then he would or she would ask you questions on that. Um, remember one thing, you don't have to be factual. You can just make up stuff. If you um, know facts, that's fine. If you don't know facts, that's fine too. Uh, the only thing that is needed is to speak English. Okay, so don't worry about facts and don't i mean pressurize yourself so what are some of the most popular festivals or celebrations in your country so the answer to this is that uh, the most popular festivals or celebrations in my country are christmas eid holy diwali and um halloween or some other festivals if you know so this is th this is it that's it you don't have to uh, make a speech on these questions you just give answer one or two lines answer okay when are they celebrated uh, so this means the time okay so once again you don't have to tell them exact date or you don't have to tell them the exact time you can say anything uh, but obviously some festivals which are uh, universally popular known like christmas and Eid, you can't just say that they happen in may um, i mean that is um, being sensible so uh, there are some festivals like halloween they have specific dates christmas specific dates but there are some festivals which have no dates so you could say um, in answer in response to this question that yeah uh, they are celebrated so if you say that um, eid and diwali so you could say that eid is celebrated after ramadan uh, so we celebrate two Eids. One is called um, uh, the the Eid, small Eid. The other one is uh, the Bakra Eid, and uh, one is after Ramadan. The other one is two and a half months after the first Eid. Uh, whereas Diwali is celebrated in October or May, whatever the date is. Um, okay, if there is any other festival, for example. Um, if there is a festival which is celebrated in April, you could say it is celebrated in April. Um, okay, so that's how you give the time. Are the religious festivals? So you could say, yes, some of them are religious. For example, Eid and Christmas and Easter are religious festivals, whereas Basant and other festivals um, like color throwing, um, they are not religious festivals. This is the answer. Is attending a mosque temple or a church on that day part of the celebration if it is then you can say if it is not then you can say that too um, so for example um, you could say um, like uh, I'm talking about the Eid yes on Eid the first thing the Muslims do is to go to um, the mosque in the morning and have a collective prayer and after that they enjoy the whole day by um, I mean, by engaging in different types of celebrations like um, big, um, um, uh, you could say, parties or um, eating uh, different types of foods, going to their relatives' houses. Uh, yeah, and in on Christmas, uh, they go to the church for a uh, service in the morning, and after that, they go to uh, festival. Sorry, they go to their relatives' houses. Um, if you are a Hindu and you are telling about a Hindu festivals and if you go to the temple you could say that yes uh, one of the requirements of this festival is go to the temple and uh, engage in some kind of worship and then um, and the and then celebrate the way people celebrate okay so I mean obviously I'm sorry if I have said, said something wrong about any of the festivals but I have not much knowledge about this so you know your festivals better than I do so uh, reply accordingly yeah are there special foods connected with the celebrations so simple answer is yes there are special foods connected with celebrations for example people make uh, rice people make sweet um, food people make puddings and um, other things like that answer is done is gift giving a part of these festivals yes people exchange gifts people give gifts especially 
um, uh, people give um, special gifts or presents to small children and elderly people next what are some of the things that are done at the festival or celebration now this is the time you can say many things but don't worry about the sequence you can say anything for example this is the question to me and i will answer in this way uh, well mm, there are many things that people do on this festival for example first of all they go to the mosque they go to the church or they go to the temple and after the prayer they come back they uh, meet their relatives they eat nice food then they go for a collective celebration or a dance or some singing competition and, uh, and then they have barbecues and after that um, they enjoy their time by having um, some chit chat conversation uh, exchanging gifts okay that's it uh, do you enjoy these festivals yes I do enjoy these festivals the best thing about this festival is that people forget about the past grudges and grievances and they forgive each other they hug each other they exchange gifts which is very good and it's a kind of a very positive activity next question is what activities normally take place at festival so <clears throat> this one and this questions are almost the same so you could say what people do on these uh, occasions you understand <clears throat> the next uh, set of questions is here do you decorate your house for the celebration yeah in most uh, cases um, houses are decorated for example you might have seen that Muslims decorate their houses uh, before Eid Christians decorate their houses uh, uh, before Christmas or Easter and in the same way Hindus and Sikhs they also de celebrate uh, decorate their houses before Diwali or Holi or any other festival so you could say yes we decorate our houses we clean them we decorate them we um, put lights um, okay we or Christmas tree whatever you want to say are there special songs associated with celebration if there are you can say yes there are special songs or hymns or religious songs um, associated with the celebration if there are not you could say no there are no specific songs uh, associated with uh, the celebration but people um, sing out of their happiness and enjoy can you tell me about the wedding traditions in your country now a wedding is also a kind of celebration so if it is a Pakistani or Indian wedding then obviously you can speak for three four days no problem at all uh, but if it is um, uh, I mean obviously you don't have that much time it's a 10 minutes test um, so just say anything yes uh, the wedding traditions in my, in my country are quite long they last for three or four days and um, many guests almost all the relatives are invited with the children uh, and all the whole, the whole families are invited uh, they eat food they sing songs they dance and um, and yeah so it's a long tradition it's a long um, it's a long <laughs> journey in tonight don't say that please describe the wedding you have been to or heard about so then you can make up a story or you can tell the whole thing yeah we went to a wedding last um, last year um my cousin's wedding it was such a nice gathering all of my friends and cousins were also invited so we had uh, singing competitions we danced a lot we had beautiful dresses and um, we went to the banquet hall and ate some very nice food um okay stuff like that what gifts do guests usually give to the bride or groom um so this is uh quite an open question you can say anything people some people uh, in my country uh, give um, money um, envelopes obviously um, as a gift so that the bridegroom um, can buy whatever they like or some people bring flowers some people uh, give different types of uh, gifts like cakes or um, oh, I don't know um, dresses or whatever uh, you understand I'm not very good at these things next are there any traditional wedding dances or songs in your country yes there are many traditional songs and dances 
in my country there are especially songs which are particular um, to this wedding uh, tradition um, and they mention about the love and kindness and compassion um, between husband and wife between bridegroom and maid um, so these are quite nice beautiful songs do you celebrate new year eves in your country uh, yes we do celebrate new year eve in my country um, people go out people um, watch the fireworks enjoy sometimes they do it at home uh, but yes they do uh, celebrate how do you celebrate it now this is your well i go out and sometimes i take my children out as well um, if the weather is fine uh, because you know um, it's really cold in December and we watch the fireworks uh, and uh, uh, sometimes we um, we also buy fireworks and do it at home do you enjoy going to festivals why or why not the examiner could ask you these questions yes I love to go to the festivals it's it is very good um, routine uh, very good thing to break your routine and you meet new people you make friends and you meet your old friends relatives and you enjoy your time okay so these were some of the questions obviously uh, nobody knows what exact questions uh, an examiner would ask because um, you know uh, everybody is different but these are types of questions these are the themes these these are some of the questions that they can ask now if you prepare um, everything about festivals especially how they are celebrated what is eaten what kind of dresses people wear what do you do then there is no problem okay um, so I wish you all the best if you have any question just uh, let me know and I will try to answer uh, so take care of yourself all the best bye good luck